the cry of tin it's quite a startling sound that tin has when it's worked and when it's stressed so if I'm forming it into something by rolling it or bending it twisting it it's hard to describe the sound but it's, it's quite extraordinary well first of all it's formed within the rock and then being discovered and extracted then the rock that it's in is crushed and concentrated the smelting process actually extracts the tin from the rock and that involves heating it the cornish tin that i use comes from the st just area which is a very dramatic coastline it's not all sandy beaches there's the rocks meet the sea um, fantastic colors because I understand exactly where it's come from, I associate it very much with that place and that environment. I feel a deep connection with the landscape from which it's come. A deep connection with the people who've sought it for thousands of years. It fits into my category of special things and those are things that are very often overlooked. I see it as a treasure, very much so. Um, and so it's right, it feels right for me to put it with gold and silver and diamonds and to give it that sort of status that people recognise with, with precious metals.